welcome to our video, our GTMA hair tutorial video of <laughs> the bun. So, materials you will need for the bun. So I'm gonna hold a hairspray. Any brand is good, but Ozzy is the one you should choose. <laughs> 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 okay. And the next one for maximum hold in the hair, you wanna get your gel. Any gel you want, but L'Oreal is the one you should choose, y'all. <laughs> okay, cut that out. You can cut it right. You can't cut. Okay. Now, for the important part, you are gonna need a bun. You can have a sock bun or a bun you can buy at Claire's or any drugstore or hair store place. Yes, yes. If you if you don't have one and you want to spend money, just YouTube it. You'll find one. Okay, you'll find one. Next, you're gonna need some elastics, preferably a color that matches your hair. See, you can't see it. So, yeah. Okay. Next, you're gonna need some sturdy hair ties. Okay, so just get hair ties. Then you're gonna need bobby pins, goody bobby pins, or any bobby pins, you yeah, bobby pins. And now, the trick for the bun is bun pins. Yes, you have bobby pins, but this will hold your hair, bruh. <laughs> okay, so those are your materials. Oh, and a hairbrush. Also, a smart one would be, is the comb, or like a rat tail comb, because then you can use the pointy hair, pointy hair, pointy part of the comb to make your part or to do any braids you would like to do on your head. <laughs> but right now, we're going to use a hairbrush, okay? <laughs> So one thing you want to do is just brush out the hair. So first you want to take your L'Oreal uh, gel. So you're going to take a little bit, a lot, and just get the sides. This is one thing I like to do. Just get the sides so that when you brush it out, the flyaways, like her sideburns are like off of her face. <laughs> so after you slick back the uh, flyaways, the little sideburns and the ha hairs back here, you for maximum hold, I'm just like gonna lightly hairspray the top of her hair to get those front baby hairs back. And then I'm gonna brush it all back again. So for this part, you can either choose to have a part or you can just have it slick back. It's uh, whatever preference you want or whatever preference the lady you're doing it for wants. Um, but you can also do braids, it's optional. But if you do braids, it has to be on both sides of the head because that's the regulation for female hair. So if you're gonna do braids, braids going like this on either side of the head or one braid going down, it just has to be symmetric. So for thick hair, since you are using sturdy hair ties, I'd use two just so that the bun itself doesn't fall off. Another thing, just slick back those sides again. So no flyaways. Okay. So now you got your low pony. So lay their head down on a flat surface and you're gonna slide your hair bun what is it bun donut. bun donut. donut hair donut or donut onto that pony you made and just split that hair split the hair in two sections and just spread it evenly on the donut so you get something like this so make sure none of the donut is showing and you're good you're gonna hairspray it so the hair stays in place. You're gonna take more gel and you're just gonna smoothen it, just like that. And then you're good to go. Then you're gonna take a hair tie again and just set that gently on the bun and like squishing it in. And a lot of people like to take one hair tie and then wrapping it again but um, it's really hard to do that and keeping all the hair pieces down because whenever I do it, I get lumps in the hair. So it's just easier to put one sturdy hair tie on and then put another one or as many as you want 
just so that bun stays in place. Depending on how the girl's hair is, you could either stick to two strands or you could go to four, just so that it's easier on you and it's manageable to wrap around at the end. So we'll do four strands for this one. Okay, so after you split it in two, split it in two again on either side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hairspray or your gel and just spray that down just so that the hairs stick together and it's easier to braid because that's what we're gonna do next. So just braid however you wanna braid, however you know how to braid, just braid that piece of hairs. And then you're gonna grab an elastic and just tie that piece of hair off. This is why I like to use elastics on buns, just so that when you do braid the hair, it doesn't get like crowded in the bun. Because if you use like really thick hair ties and you try wrapping it around, it's just gonna bulge out and that's not, that's not what you really want. So you could either take your hairspray or your gel and just go over that braid just so that all the hairs are sticking down and you have no flyaways. After you finish braiding your four strands of hair, you're gonna start wrapping it around the donut. So one tip I, I live by is that I'm going to rotate each of the pieces or like each of the braids in the same direction just so that it's easier and so that the ends don't really show. Oh, you'll see in the video. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press down on the bun and you're gonna tug on the strand of hair and wrap it tightly around the bun, just like that. And you're gonna take your secret weapon and pin it. I'd like to pin it just before I reach the elastic, just so that it has something to hold on to. And just pin it there. And then I don't really worry about the end because we're gonna take the next one and then we're gonna wrap it on top of that piece just like that. Also make sure when you're wrapping your hair around the bun, you try hiding the elastics. So right now I'm kind of really carefree about the first two just because I have these two to hide it. So I'm gonna take that again, push down and wrap just like that. And I'm gonna tuck that elastic underneath this hair. And then just pin wherever you think needs to be pinned. And then start pinning the end of the strands. And then we can take bobby pins for the smaller pieces of hair. Just like that. And what I like doing, especially if I'm wearing this for the whole day, I'm going to take bobby pins and just put them in random sections just so that I have extra for when a strand falls or like if I need an extra one or if one of them come off, I have some hidden bobby pins around my bun. One thing I like to do is just give it one more spray. Take your bobby pins and just pin those sideburns down. And really make sure that these bobby pins are the same color as your natural hair. Because that's regulation. And then one more. And ta-da! You've got your drill bun. So now we're gonna demonstrate how to do a bun for short hair like this. She has 
short and layered hair and yeah <laughs> so first we're gonna start off with the gel we're gonna do the same thing as the first um, hairstyle we're gonna slick back the top so that there's no flyaways and for me I like keeping the person's uh, part just because it's like easier and there's like less flyaways so we're just gonna do that And then I'm gonna use a brush to go ahead and gather all her hair to the back. And now they have a kind of tight hair ponytail. I'm just gonna go with some hairspray all around because she has layers and you don't want any flyaways to come out. So I'm just gonna go everywhere and then around the ear I like to spray it on my hand and then go on the ear so that it's like not directly on their face and then if you mess up like this when there's like bumps right there I like to just take bobby pins and uh, pin it down over here because it's gonna be hidden by the bun anyways So now we're gonna put on the donut thing. So since her hair is short, we have to work really hard to try to spread the hairs around. I'm gonna try to spread it so that you can't see the bun anymore. So while I'm spreading it, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray just so that it goes down. Don't be afraid to use a lot of hairspray because you need it to stick down a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put an, a ponytail on top. And then um, there's like some flyaway still, so I'm just gonna hairspray a lot just so it stays down. So, since her hair isn't long enough to do braids, we're just gonna wrap this around the bun. So, first, I'm gonna put some hairspray so that it gets like a little sticky and like it gets stuck together. So I'm going to start with this part over here and I'm just going to twist it a little bit and then as I'm going around I'm going to take some bun pins and just pin it down and I'm going to do like a lot of bun pins so that none of the hairs um, stick out and you want to just like hairspray and bun pin uh, alternating all the way around And now that I pinned it all, I'm gonna give it one more spray with hairspray. And for any sideburns, you just go ahead and bobby pin it up 